Hi, I'm Sarah Backhouse for Future360. We're back in the Silicon Valley to unearth a slew of new green tech companies making waves in the built world. The intersection of green building and technology is taking place in the valley with breakthroughs in data, water, energy and lighting. To help curate the many technologies on offer is clean tech evangelist John Picard. The four companies that you're going to see today in metric, AquaQ, SCI and Daylight, they're amazing. They take an analog situation and make it digital. They have created the app for you to be in control. All four of these companies focus on behavior and technology, and they bring them together. First up, Enmetric, a developer of enterprise plug load management systems for commercial buildings. What a lot of people don't know is that plug loads represent 30 to 50 percent of electricity consumption in a commercial office building. And so we help identify exactly where the energy is being wasted, and we help eliminate that wasted energy. A metric smart power strip system measures the energy of every device every second it's plugged in. The information is communicated wirelessly to the cloud and then displayed on a user interface. Locating in the Silicon Valley makes sense for this startup. Well, this is really the hub of the clean tech world. This is where all of the integration potential happens. Um, at Emetric, we see the future of smart buildings being fully integrated smart systems where the plug loads and the HVAC and lighting are all working as an integrated system. Next up, Daylighting, a manufacturer of high-performance daylighting fixtures that bring the outside in. We've been heavily presented in the military and school environment. We've done a lot of projects with the big box retailers and architects. Architects love our product because they can actually deliver the daylighting combined with electrical lights and plan their systems accordingly like they would plan an electrical system. Capitalizing on a free source of energy, sunlight brings health and performance benefits to workers and students. But now digitization is transforming the company. We're in Silicon Valley because we are moving towards becoming a clean tech company rather than just a hardware manufacturing company. It's all about digitalizing of the product. We are here to capture the data, quantify the data for our clients and deliver the results and metrics to them so they can see them in real time. Next up, Sky Energy, a cloud-based energy management company for the commercial market. More and more building owners, tenants, property managers alike care about sustainability and building performance is a big contributor to energy consumption which drives carbon footprint. Buildings account for about 400 billion a year in energy costs and almost one third of that is wasted. Sky Energy Software is looking to solve this problem with some innovative new ideas for the smart grid of the future. Connecting to the supply side is another opportunity. It really is a focus on optimization first and then how can you make the grid a little better in performance. Final stop, AquaQ, a web-based water management technology and services company. Our approach to the technology was to build something that was simple and convenient. So we have a battery-operated wireless device that you can self-install on an existing meter. It communicates flow information to the cloud, and as a user of that data, uh, you're all done at that point. AquaQ helps conserve water by making its use visible. The technology can detect leaks, optimize water use and motivate smarter behaviors through neighborhood competitions. We have delivered an amazing piece of software that all of our customers use. Uh, they love the software and you know our system works with our data acquisition system, the Barnacle, also with uh, our competitors' smart metering acquisition system as well. So we could integrate with those and be the user interface for water meter and ultimately resource management. So the reason clean tech and green tech related to buildings is happening here because it's all things digital. I mean, this is the place. In the next 10 or 20 years, it's, a, it's an entire new economy. It's a whole new industry that real estate and buildings and sustainability never saw coming. From energy to water, diagnostics to daylight, digitization is profoundly affecting this next generation of building technologies.